Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Renato Filizola and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Ubuntu server virtual machine from Azure. So I am already logged to my Azure portal and then I have like my all my services here but the one I'm looking for is just virtual machine. So I'm going to click on virtual machine and as you can see I don't have any virtual machine on my on my Azure uh, let's go create and then Azure virtual machine click on that and there we go so this is the first part we would need to go to all of those parts so that's the basics so that's the very first one uh, so I have my subscription which says Azure subscription one uh, I can create a new resource group and I can also just add anything I have already created so I'm gonna select virtual machine but again I could just create uh, a new resource group but I will keep the one I have my virtual machine name is going to be Ubuntu server 0 so oops 20 dot zero four dash LTS there we go uh, region I'll keep the default East US availability option I'll keep the default in availability zone I will keep zones one I'm just gonna keep one it's fine security type I will keep the standard the basic level of security for your virtual machine it's just uh, to test my machine how to create that's fine and the image is the uh, Ubuntu server 20.04 LTS the size I will keep this machine here which is fine uh, and in authentication type I'm not gonna go for SSH public key I'm gonna go password so username is going to be my name and I'm gonna type my password and I have to confirm the password there we go uh, public import bounds inbound ports uh, I will select allow selected ports and I'll keep just SSH uh, port 22 uh, we could also go for HH, uh, HTTPS port 443 and HTTP port 80 but this one here is fine uh, and yeah so this part is fine so I'm gonna go to next that's time to set up our disk uh, we have those options here premium SSD standard SSD and standard HDD I'll keep the premium SSD that's the default one and this is a very important option so if I it's, if it's not check, checked uh, when I delete my virtual machine Azure will keep the disk so if I click here if my box is checked it will delete uh, the disk with my VM so I'll keep this encryption type we have those types and I'll keep the default encryption at rest with a platform managed key that's fine and we can also create and attach a new disk just in case if we need but again this is just for a lab so I'm not gonna create any other disk so next we can go to the network option and here I will keep everything as the default so virtual network subnet I'll keep everything as it is uh, public IP NIC network security group I'll leave as basic and public inbound ports I will keep just allow selected ports and port SSH uh, which is port 22 so we could also go for port 80 port 443 and port uh, 3389 just if it was like a Windows machine but as I'm using Linux I'm okay with uh, SSH port 22 
this is fine load balancing uh, none not gonna set up like any uh, load balancing and then we can go next management here also I will keep everything as it is for uh, boot diagnostics enable with manage storage account that's the recommended one uh, enable SKS diagnostics so anything I'm gonna just leave the way it is it's gonna be fine and then we can go next here same thing I can add like a custom data uh, not gonna do like anything here so let's go next and I can also add just some some tags I'm gonna go for Linux and maybe uh, Ubuntu uh, and why not uh, server there we go yeah that's fine I'm gonna click review and create so Azure will check all of those options I have uh, set up and now it's fine it says validation passed that means that I can create my virtual machine with no issues uh, this is the price for my machine it's gonna be like just a fraction in USD American dollar and this is per hour there we go okay and then we can just uh, review the basics discs and the things that we have set up everything looks fine and now I just have to go to create so click on create it's gonna start my deploy it just says here submitting deploying and now deployment in progress uh, it won't take too long let's just wait a little bit until it gets uh, the machine created when it's created it will pop up here just uh, a notification saying that your uh, machine has been created or something like that let's just wait a um, little bit more again it won't take that much it's gonna create my disks uh, it's gonna create the virtual machine itself uh, yeah so there we go you just pop it up deployment succeeded and you can see here your deployment is complete so now we can go to resource click on that and that's what we need for our machine uh, the most important part here for us is the public uh, IP address so this is how I'm gonna connect to this machine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a terminal and I'm gonna do SSH the username at the external or the public IP address which is 20.84.61.245 it says uh, are you sure you want to continue connecting and I'm gonna say yes that's just for my fingerprint and now it's asking for the password I have created I'm gonna type my password and there we go I'm just connected to the virtual machine uh, I'm gonna change my user to be root and let me just check the release uh, that's the version so that's my Ubuntu and this is the version 20.04.4 LTS which is fine uh, let me see if I can reach the Google DNS yes I can that's fine and let me see if I can uh, ping my website yes I can it's fine 
Okay, so now we have uh, an Ubuntu server deployed from Azure, uh, from Microsoft Azure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumb up, give us a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guy. See, see you on the next video. Take care.